Hello and welcome to the gradual report where we uh, gradually report. Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to add fractions. All right, um, and I'm going to be assisted by uh, Dolly. Dolly's actually over here. So we're going to go take a little quick look. How are you doing today, Dolly? Still feel shitty from all that diarrhea, huh? Why don't you turn that frown upside down and smile for our good friends on the internet? Yippee! Um, right. So, let me show you guys how to do some fractions. Add Adding fractions with uncommon denominators. All right. Uh, one half plus uh, one over three. Right? Let's do that. Let's start with that. Um, so we need a common denominator, and you get that by multiplying it straight across. So that's 6, all right? Um, then you multiply this one with this one. Um, don't forget to draw the moon vector. Uh, 1 times 3 is going to be 3, plus a moon a vector, uh, non-vector. Uh, 1 times 2 is going to be 2. So you're going to get 5 over 6. And that is your answer. You see the moon vectors? Let me see if I can explain this a, a slightly more, slightly less complicated way. Let me see if I can spell it out for you a little better with maybe a different example. All right, so let's say you have 1 fourth, and you're adding that to uh, 1 uh, third, OK? Um, your common denominator is going to be 12, because 4 times 3 12 right now the way I like to remember it is put a little head on this guy here right there's his there's his there's his feet and there's his hands now he's trying to stop these two guys from like from like fighting and these these are two like drunk chicks and they're like just just getting at it they just want to like go at it he's got a funny pointy hat um, as well it kind of sticks out to the sides but anyway what he does is he grabs the top of this chick here and he just slams her face into the bottom of that one Right, so one times three is going to be uh, three. Okay, and then he uh, he also this chick when she gets slammed into there, this and this one falls down, and, and then the four kind of grabs her by the face and smashes her face into the ground a little bit. Okay, so four times one is four. All right, now three plus four is going to be seven over twelve. Okay. Easy peasy. Um, let's do one more just to make sure you guys got it. All right. Uh, 1 over uh, 215 uh, plus 1 over 375. Okay. Now, your common denominator here, uh, that is a whopping 80,625. That's a big number. But don't get scared by big numbers. Only, um, only uh, simple, simple people and retards are scared by by big numbers. So let's not be them, okay? Um, all right. So to to get the top, oh, this is just got a lot. Of big, I feel slow in my head. All right. So one times three seventy five is going to be three seventy five plus one times. 215 is uh, 215. So uh, 3 is going to be 590 over 80,625. Um, and that's, that's, that's divisible by 5 at a minimum. Let's say that's 118, right? 16,000. 125. Let's check in with Dolly and see if she's still asleep. She is. Um, you still asleep, Doll? Definitely. Definitely still asleep. So that means that this is our answer. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, do join us, you know, when we do this again. Uh, I. I hope I'm clearing this up. I hope I'm really, I feel like I'm really helping people. You know, I'm helping people understand why Girls Gone Wild can be applied to fractions.